In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 calculator uh, to put a matrix, in particular a matrix that has um, more rows and columns, into reduce row echelon form. Okay? So if you've tried this before, if you've taken um, a matrix where it has more rows than columns, and if you try to do an REF on that in your calculator, then most likely you've gotten like some kind of dimensional error. Okay? So let me show you how to um, uh, how to um, over, how to deal with that error. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and store this matrix into the calculator. Okay. So we go to second matrix here. Okay. Uh, select one of the variables. So I'm gonna use variable A, and this is a three by two. Okay, so I'm going to put in 3, minus 1, 8, 1, 5, and 2. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to hit, click on second and then go to mode. That will quit this. Okay. So if we go back into the matrix, second matrix, go to math, and then go to RREF. And then call up the matrix. So we stored it in A. Okay, so this is the error that I was mentioning. Okay, so it's in valid dimension. So what this, uh, so, so basically here your calculator can't, um, so it can't just, it can't do an REF on, on a matrix where it has more rows than columns, such as the one you see here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to, um, uh, how to, uh, how to deal with this type of issue. Okay. So I'm going to quit this, okay, I'm going to go back into the matrix, go to edit, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a 3x3, three three. so if I put, so if I add an extra column, okay, so I can do that by changing this as 3, and then that will give you the uh, column of zeros here, okay. So therefore that gives us a uh, square matrix now, okay, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to quit out of this, Go back into second matrix, go to math, and then just go into REF. So do the REF. Okay, call up the matrix. Okay. And so there you go. So okay, so you can just remove, so just to get your result, just remove the column of zeros. So that you get one zero zero and zero one zero. Okay. So um, so this tells you that for these two vectors, uh, based on what you see here because we have two pivots, one pivot in each column, so therefore these uh, these two vectors are literally independent of each other. Okay, okay so that's how you can uh, deal with this um, with this type of issue.